Thank you, Madam President, and thank you, High Commissioner. This is a joint statement. As states are undertaking extraordinary measures to curb the spread of COVID-19, we recognize the good faith efforts of many states to effectively protect the right to life and the right to health. However, all responses to the pandemic must be deeply rooted in a cross-sectional human rights-based approach. We are particularly concerned by states abusively reporting, resorting to emergency powers and undue restrictions on fundamental rights, including the freedom of expression and the right to access information. Some governments have enforced internet restrictions and shutdowns that pre prevent people from accessing vital information. Access to information is critical in the effort to curb the spread of COVID-19. Equally, attacks on journalists and media reporting on government responses of great concern. The freedom of expression needs to be protected in times such as these. High Commissioner, we are there further concerned by the expanding state practice to monitor and closely control people's movements, even at the cost of their privacy. Efforts to contain the virus must not be used to usher in a new era of expanded digital surveillance. We ask the High Commissioner to monitor the situation closely. We further call on member states to ensure all measures to adopt, adopted in relation to COVID-19 pandemic fully take into account and comply with international human rights obligations. To ease the pressure on prison systems and lower the risk to health of prison population by releasing all human rights defenders and prisoners of conscience who were imprisoned for their human rights activities. To pay special attention to traditionally marginalized or vulnerable groups and to ensure access to appropriate support resources and protection mechanisms. To ensure any use of surveillance to track the spread of the virus is limited in purpose and time, abides by strict and explicit human rights safeguards and guarantees the right to the freedom of expression. We thank you.